This is Bender, my 3D printed uh, case for the Hiltec V3 uh, that adds the ability to use either the Hiltec antenna um, or a SMA connected antenna uh, plus an 18650 uh, rechargeable battery. Uh, in this video, I'm going to just quickly run you through how it assembles and the various options uh, and parts that you use with it. You can buy the files to be able to print the case yourself direct from our website. Uh, the link will be uh, attached to this video. Um, and for those in the UK, uh, I'll be selling the case itself printed um, along with the components that go into making it um, also on the website uh, in the next couple of weeks. So the case itself is made up of three main parts. First, you have the main body, which is available in two different versions. You've got one with a top-mounted antenna and one with a side-mounted antenna. Top-mounted antenna is generally better if you're going to have it sat on a uh, window ledge or on your desk or on your dashboard. Uh, it's not ideal for going in your pocket, though, because, uh, well, yeah. Whereas the, uh, the side-mounted one, um, the aerial antenna folds in a better way to be able to go in your pocket. So... This is probably my preference. You then have the front covers, which again, there are two versions. There is one with a power switch, just slots in on the back. Um, again, you can you can shut down the Heltec V3 through software, but it can be just a bit more convenient if you have a nice little power switch to just turn it on and off. Um, but if you want to just do it through software, um, you've got the version without a power switch. You then have the back cover, uh, which simply snaps on uh, to cover the battery. Um, as you can see from the design, you can kind of mix and match the colour schemes uh, to customise it as you want to. So before I run through the assembly, I'll just uh, go over the two antenna options. So um, you can use the standard Heltec antenna, which I've seen some positive things about. Well, of course, it, it doesn't look great so it wouldn't look great just hanging out the side here so uh, what I've done is I've made uh, kind of an antenna housing um, that turns the Heltac antenna into something that uh, looks a bit more presentable um, I'm not going to do the full assembly of it but it basically you have a piece that slots into the antenna hole Okay, tricky to do this on camera, right. You then have a sleeve that goes over here, and then you basically just slide the connector through. Goes on here, and then you pop a little bit of uh, filament through this hole that I'll provide, um, and there you go. So the second option, uh, if you want to use a proper antenna uh, with an SMA connector, uh, is you get one of these SMA uh, adapter cables, or WIP, I think they're called, um, and that installs quite simply through the antenna hole. And I've made the nut captive on the back, so you don't have to put a pair of pliers on it or something to keep it in place whilst you turn these nuts. You stick your washers on. And if you don't have a wrench handy, I made a little 3D printed wrench as well, uh, which makes tightening it easy. There you go. And that gives you your SMA antenna. You can then stick your actual antenna onto it. Like so. The final component uh, is the, the battery housing. Uh, these are available. Uh, from Amazon, nice and cheap. I'll, I'll post the link, but I have a load coming in from China that I'll be selling through my website. Um, and what I'll be doing is um, I'll be I'll be selling them with the JST connector uh, already uh, attached, so you don't have to do that. But you can just um, buy it from Amazon and solder the cables uh, yourself onto the cable that's included with the Heltec. Um, in terms of how it assembles, uh, I'm just gonna pop the battery case out because these wires haven't been cut down yet and get in the way 
So, uh, the Heltec itself uh, is quite a snug fit. Um, but you basically just slide it in. See the USB port is perfectly aligned. Um, so next, you would uh, connect up your antenna cable. Um, you generally connect up the battery cable just before you put it in. Um, but the front cover, let's do a black one. Eh? Front cover just presses on. Again, it's quite a snug fit, just so it's secure. And then the battery cover is the same. That just snaps on the back. This one's designed to be a little bit easier so you can get it off. And again, it has a little notch so you can get your fingernail in and pull it off. But then you would stick your antenna on. And there you go. There'll be a link in the video description or in the post uh, to my website where you'll be able to buy the files and print the bender case yourself. Uh, and soon I will also be selling the uh, fully 3D printed case, um, uh, shipping to the UK only, sadly, um, along with all of the components uh, to be able to build her. Um, any comments, um, please let me know. Um, but thanks for watching. Cheers.